this point, I'd like to open my parentheses and go a little bit deeper in VO2 max because it is such a popular physiological variable and the word is thrown around a lot. So what determines VO2 max? Because like I've been telling you the whole time, when you have a, a scientific understanding of things, when you understand what these variables are and where they come from, then it helps you, it gives you the tools to be able to train your athletes better. And if you understand what are the things that go into VO2 max, then you have a better understanding of, okay, how do I improve it? Well, one thing that's referred to as central factors is cardiac output and blood flow to the muscle. Okay? There's a lot of things that affect this. Cardiac output is dependent on two things. You multiply your stroke volume, which is the volume of blood leaving that left ventricle per beat, times your heart rate, how many beats per minute, and you get the volume of blood leaving that left ventricle per minute, your cardiac output. Okay. And if you ever read scientific literature, that's referred to as the central factors related to cardiovascular, central factors. <coughs> And stroke volume in itself is dependent on quite a number of things. Venous return, the return of blood flow back to the heart, heart contractility, the ability for the heart to contract forcefully and quickly, the amount of pressure.